Dov Zakaim is the former Under Secretary of Defense in the George W. Bush administration and is currently a senior advisor at Center for Strategic and International Studies, is now joining us live from Washington, D.C. Mr. Zakaim, welcome to the show. What if the offensive in Rafa goes on undeterred, despite Washington warning that it will be a big mistake? What will be the consequences of that? And will there be any repercussions for Netanyahu? Simply put, what's the worst action that the U.S. will take against the Israeli Prime Minister or Israel as a whole? Well, let me give you a bit of history. Um, when Israel uh, went into Lebanon, at one point, Ronald Reagan, who I would argue was as much a supporter of Israel as Joe Biden, maybe more, mm -hmm. phoned be be uh, at the time Prime Minister Menachem Begin and said, if you keep this up, we're finished. Mm -hmm. Within 20 minutes, Begin started to change his policies. Mm -hmm. Now, there's no indication that the Israelis will move on Rafa uh, during Ramadan. That would create huge problems for them on the West Bank and in Jerusalem and on the northern border, mm -hmm. which means that Biden still has a little bit of time to essentially tell Netanyahu, uh, don't do this because there will be consequences. Mm -hmm. One other point that must be taken into account, when, Sec uh, when Senator Schumer, who spoke about uh, uh, both his love for Israel and his concern about Netanyahu's leadership, mm -hmm. he was speaking for the majority of the American Jewish community. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a very vocal minority among the Orthodox Jewish community in particular, mm -hmm. even there, there's a minority that supports what Schumer was saying. Mm -hmm. But Schumer is not alone. And that's why Biden said what he said. And if if you might have quoted additionally, what Biden said was mm -hmm. essentially that the American Jew Jewish community also supports Schumer. Netanyahu knows this. And to some extent, we're talking about a game of chicken here. Mm -hmm. Netanyahu is essentially daring Biden in an election year to stop Israel from what he, Netanyahu, wants to do. And Biden uh, is always has the threat of cutting something off from uh, support for Israel, which, of course, uh, would be a major blow, not just to Netanyahu, but to the, the country of Israel, which is why Biden is holding off for as long as he can. Let's talk about that support, Mr. Zakaim. There are two aspects that I want you to decode for us. On one end, the U.S. supporting Israel and its efforts to fight Hamas. And on the other, Biden is not supporting or even backing Netanyahu. Do you see the disconnect here? Because people are asking, what's the divide in America? What's that all about? Do you see it? Well, Biden's approach and the, the approach of the uh, United States government is not to uh, let Hamas go, which seems to be the kind of implication that Netanyahu wants to signal. Rather, it's that it should be a much more precise approach that goes after the Hamas leadership, that decapitates them, that uh, essentially avoids uh, the mass bombing that took place at the beginning of this war. Mm -hmm. Netanyahu insists that he's got to do this with a ground invasion. Uh, our people on the American side believe that's not necessary. Netanyahu has agreed to send an Israeli delegation to sit down with uh, the American military and others to uh, discuss how this might be done. But publicly, he's still opting for a, a ground invasion Whereas on our side, there's a strong belief that uh, Israel's fundamental objective, mm -hmm. which is to decapitate Hamas, because there's a belief here that you're never totally going to eliminate Hamas. And even if you did, there'd be a new kind of Hamas that would arise because it's ideological and religious as well as political. Um, the belief here is that we could certainly weaken Hamas, help mm -hmm. Israel to do that, uh, maybe not destroy it, but simply shunt it aside for a new uh, kind of government, maybe in coordination with the Palestinian Authority, that would uh, create a new opportunity for the people of Gaza.
Okay, I've been talking to Dov Zakaim, who is the former Under Secretary of Defense in the George W. Bush administration and also currently a senior advisor at Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, D.C. Dov Zakaim, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you for having me. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.